Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. Two very impressive publications regarding vitamin D supplementation appear just a few months apart in late 2020 and early 2021, whereby the UK government announced that it has decided to make vitamin D supplements available to over 2.5 million older citizens living in care homes throughout the country. And German researchers showed that if a similar approach was implemented by the German government, it would reduce 30,000 cancer deaths per year in that country. So here's what transpired. In November 2020, the UK government decided that it was in the best interest of its citizens to begin shipping vitamin D supplements free of charge to older persons living in care homes throughout the country who can now request a four-month supply of vitamin D from the government. They strongly urge this group of individuals to take a vitamin D supplement for bone health, but in light of the evidence showing that higher vitamin D blood levels may also reduce the risk of mortality from COVID-19, this was the year the government decided to take action. This is coupled with the fact that it's been very difficult for older individuals to get outdoors the past year to make vitamin D from sunlight, but even still, vitamin D levels are known to plummet in the winter months among citizens in the United Kingdom, including and especially older subjects. The daily vitamin D supplement that they're sending to citizens contains 400 IUs of vitamin D. I personally feel this is too low a dose to be meaningful, and apparently German researchers agree with me. In February of 2021, a group of German researchers published a groundbreaking study in the journal Molecular Oncology. Their research review cites three previous meta-analysis studies showing that vitamin D supplementation at 1,000 international units a day is associated with a reduction in cancer death rates by 13%. Scientists at the German Cancer Research Center have now transferred these results to the situation in Germany and calculated the following, and I quote, if all Germans over the age of 50 were to take vitamin D supplements, up to 30,000 cancer deaths per year could be possibly avoided and more than 300,000 years of life could be gained. In addition, healthcare costs could be saved. The scientists based their calculation on daily administration of 1,000 IUs of vitamin D a day at a cost of 25 euros per person per year. So in 2016, approximately 36 million people over the age of 50 lived in Germany, resulting in an annual supplementation cost of what would have been 900 million euros. Factoring reduction in cancer care costs of 13% fewer cancers per year, this model calculates an annual saving of 254 million euros to the healthcare system if citizens over the age of 50 were provided with 1,000 IUs a day of vitamin D. Now, once again, I would advise you to know your blood vitamin D level. For most people, the ideal range is between 80 and 140 nanomoles per liter. In the United States, they measure vitamin D in nanograms per milliliter, so that level would be 32 to 56 nanograms per milliliter. This is the blood level that appears to best support immune function, reduce the risk of acute respiratory infections, as well as protecting bones and possibly providing important anti-cancer and anti-cardiovascular disease and other health benefits. Most people need at least 1,000 IUs of vitamin D supplementation each day to attain this blood level if they live above or below the 40th degree latitude. Now in the Northern Hemisphere, the 40th degree latitude basically bisects the United States in half as you go from south to north. Everyone in Canada, for example, lives well above the 40th degree latitude. So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.